Boys and girls, something that I just find absolutely beautiful is a sea urchin. And it's amazing because it's after all the spikes have fallen off, but it leaves this beautiful pattern. And it kind of seems to be that the theme of the day today is radial symmetry because you'll notice that in the center of the sea urchin is a circle. And then you'll see all these beautiful little polka dots that are kind of coming out from the center. You are going to make your own sea urchin out of clay today. You're going to have to roll it into a ball. And if there are little cracks, I'm going to ask you to be very careful and to use your thumb and to get rid of those cracks. You're going to want to take your time. Then you're going to smash it down just a little bit. By smash, I don't mean smash, smash. I just mean push it down just a wee bit. And you're going to begin by taking the back of a colored pencil. I'm using a needle tool here, but some people got a little nervous about you guys using needle tools. So you're just going to use the back of a colored pencil. And you're going to push down. Don't push down all the way down to the table, but you want to push in a little bit deep so that there's a little bit of a shadow. It's just going to make it that much more believable. Then, again, you are going to use a bamboo skewer to just kind of you know, push away just a little bit that you can see there so that the center looks realistic. With your bamboo skewer, you're going to lightly t um, push in and you are going to make one line going all the way to the side. You're going to find that you're going to have to be kind of gentle with your clay that you don't smush out all the really cool lines that you've or dots that you've already done. But notice that I'm coming out from the center and I'm making it nice. And now with your bamboo skewer, you're going to push in a little bit deeper so that you can make the hole just a little bit deeper and fatter. And you're going to notice that I'm going in between the tiny little holes that I made. Now do not expect that you are going to finish this in three seconds. You don't want to. You want it to be, when Mr. Heatrick saw mine was finished, he thought mine was real. I, I kind of think the same thing is going to happen to you. People are going to think that it looks absolutely positively real. So take your time to get all those little tiny dots on there. And again, like I said, you're not going to be, um, try, try not to smush it out. Now, once you're finished, you are going to add watercolor it is going to seem a little weird because your clay is not dry and you're going to think this it's getting a little slimy it's getting a little weird my recommendation to you is to just try to touch it as little as possible and it might be a little bit hard but guess what there are so many people who never get to work with clay like this and you are so you're just going to hold it up and even if it feels a little slimy, still be so gentle with it. Now, I started off with purple, and then I was like, okay, that looks okay. Maybe I'll do something different. Later on, I decided to add a little bit of pink. You'll notice I'm spending a lot of time right on the top, but don't forget your sides. Be sure to pick it up every once in a while and make sure that you're doing all sides of it. Now here, I decided I'm going to make it look like a shadow inside. So I dip my brush into the water well just a little bit, and I put a little bit of um, black in there so it would look like a shadow. Then I thought, you know what, I can't stand it. I'm going to get some pink. So I added in some more there, and it just starts to blend together and look absolutely beautiful. Now, sea urchins are green. They can be purple. They can be orange. And they're, they're definitely not rainbows, so don't get too carried away in making it. You kind of want to decide your color and then use analogous colors. So if you're doing orange, you're going to use yellows and reds maybe. If you're doing purples, you'll put in some blues and some purples and some red violets. If you're doing green, maybe you would do some green and yellow green. Have fun.